In this portion of our DVD, we're going to discuss uh, Mutodori, uh, actually taking a sword with, uh, from someone who has a sword if you don't, uh, aren't carrying one at the same time. So in this, in this portion, we're going to explore taking a sword as it's being uh, cut with two hands from over, overhead, or it can be from the side in, in a diagonal fashion, but it's a kiriyoroshi cut. So we've already, uh, in another uh, uh, chapter, discussed uh, the nukitsuke. We're going to talk about taking uh, kiriyoroshi at this time. The key is to remember that in order for the sword to be able to cut the body, we use the monouchi from the kisaki, from the tip, from the monouchi at this point to the kisaki. This is really the cutting section of the blade right through here. And so for that to actually touch the body, it's within reach that his hands can touch my hands. In this particular uh, mutodori, he's going to control the center line and do a tension motion, going moving slightly to the side, yet still controlling the center line as he moves in. So as I start, I go to a jodon position, and I'm going to try and cut directly straight through the center line of the head and through the body. As I do, he slips the side, moving here and catching. His since his right hand is catching between my, my left hand and my right hand and controlling it. Now he's got a, a fulcrum there to work with. He reaches up with the other hand, and uh, th the sword would be sharp, but it's only sharp on one side. So most people are afraid to grab a sword, but really both sides are not sharp and the back of the sword is not so sharp. So as long as he doesn't touch the ha, he's, he's safe. What he does is he uses this as a fulcrum and pushes it across my hands. And notice it's locking under my wrist. He locks my lower wrist. And then if he, if he cuts in straight toward my center, <coughs> he, locks, he locks my left wrist too. Right now, I'm trying desperately to let go, but my hands are cramping on the sword. I can't let go. So he pulls the sword out of my hands and then cuts back through in a reverse action. We'll show you again. From Jodan no Kamai, attacker steps in, step offline, taking the sword underhanded, as an underhand position, onto the suka. Reach across onto the shinogi, the side of the sword, pressing forward and down while locking the hands and then entering through my body with the upper <laughs> position. I, I'm trying desperately to let go, but I can't let go. Then he pulls back away, out, and cuts back in an upward motion. Now we're going to explore a higher level of sui monogiri. This, this technique is called mizu gaeshi. Mizu means water, gaeshi means to return. On this cut, Shimabu Koro Sensei will be cutting a kiriyagi, or a rising cut, through, through the mat. Before the cut piece drops, he's going to reverse the sword and cut back through the mat itself. So please try to match the timing and the speed.